Okay guys, welcome. Uh, we're going to do a video today on the MR2 Roadster. Um, changing the front discs and pads. So, use a half decent jack and uh, go to the jacking point. Move the front wheel and um, then we get access to the bolts at the rear. Okay, once the wheel's off, um, I suggest turning the wheel so you can get better access to your bolts. Um, the first two you want, you got 14 mil bolts, one at the top, one at the bottom. Um, mine were okay, but you may find this will start turning. So if that starts turning, get a 14 mil spanner on that and hold that, and then undo your bolt. And then just unscrew them two. So I'll take them out. And then we get access to the two 17 mil bolts to remove the caliper. Okay, so now working on the 17 mil bolts. Uh, the tool I've got is not exactly great. So just to give you a bit more leverage, uh, I slid that across the end. And then it just give me a bit more leverage to undo them two bolts. So I'm going to remove those and then slide this out and I can uh, exchange the rotor or the brake discs and uh, replace the pads. Okay, so I'm just retracting the brake cylinder so it's going to be easier when I get the thicker pads on. So I've just got a G clamp and a block and put the block across the front of the cylinder and then just push it in. So <clears throat> it goes in quite easy. So new discs ready to go on the car but before they go on the car I've just masked them up and I'm going to spray the centre bit matte black, which I've done. Um, so I'm just waiting for that to dry and then I'm going to put it back on the car. Okay, make sure you check your positioning of your pads before you put them back in. Um, with the wear sensor. Uh, so look at the original, just make sure you obviously get the alignment correct. Okay, discs on, pads back in position. That was a bit of a mission, but. Um, they're in, so once we get the cylinder on it, tighten the bolts back up. Uh, it'll be job done. Nice new discs and pads. 